I'm back with another Borderlands 3 video, and this time I'm going to be going through the last secret achievement you most likely have on your list. It's for discovering all named locations on Necro de Feo. Now this will be more of a classic guide. I'll simply be going over all of the locations and how to get there if necessary. As you can see on screen right now, I'll try to have the purple marker in the closest spot to the actual location, and I'll move on from each location from the last. If you've gone through the main story, you shouldn't really have any missed locations here. And it should be highly unlikely that you have any of them missed, as you were guided to each of them. But don't worry, I'll still include those here, just in case. Now there's no need to uncover the whole map and make it all turn blue, no matter how much you may want to. All you really need to do is make sure that you get to each of these specific spots and register them. It should show up as area discovered each time you go to a new location. Now there are currently 27 named locations that count towards this achievement. None of them are really missable, as you can always come back after completing the main game. Now I would recommend completing the main game first, and I'd also recommend doing as many side missions as you can here. But the side missions aren't really necessary. I mean, there are certain named areas that are locked off and unreachable due to certain side missions, but don't worry, I'll cover those here anyway. Now I'd recommend going for this achievement in normal mode, because with all the running around, you're going to spawn a ton of enemies, and being in normal mode will make that a hell of a lot easier. But you do you. You don't have to. You can always do this in Mayhem Mode 3. Again, apart from side missions, most of these areas you would have gone to. But just to be safe, in each area I'm going to show you each location. When you get to this part, you need to go two ways. You need to go to the left, and you need to go through the vault. Now if you've already done the main story mission, you shouldn't really need to go through the vault again, but if you skipped ahead through multiplayer, go through there. Now for this last location, you need to have completed the side mission, Bad Vibrations. In this mission, you'll blow open a hole that leads right to this area. 
Proceed underground and find the source of those quakes. Surely the necro quakes are Malin once doing. Their time will come. They will exterminate this planet's fauna one by one and finally all will be quiet. That sort of sounded like you want to kill every living thing on the planet but us. Now I wouldn't be surprised if this guide needs to be updated at some point in the future because of some sort of patch. Because there are other named locations, but they don't seem to be required for this achievement yet. If that happens, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I hope this guide helps you guys out. Please remember to give this video a like and subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already. And if you think this guide can help someone else, give it a share, it always helps.